Technique Tuesday video. So let's get started. I want to show you how you can create this butterfly using our new washi tape. This is the Gingham Garden Designer Washi Tape and it's really pretty and it matches the Gingham Garden Designer Paper. So it all goes together which is really nice. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do this little butterfly. The first thing you want to do is bring in a, just a piece of cardstock that's just close to the sides of the finished butterfly because you don't want to waste your washi tape. This is the Gingham Garden washi tape and you can see there's three different rolls and they come together and I have created over 25 of those little butterflies out of one roll and I still have some left. So you get lots of product. So the first thing you want to do is take your first color and I just go from corner to corner because I wanted it to be on an angle. So not too far off the page and not too, up, too far off this side because you don't want to waste anything. And you just trim it off and then you're going to come in with your second color. The hardest part is finding the end here. Here we go. So just going to go in again. You're just going to go right beside that other one. And you're going to keep going, adding tape as you go until you have something that looks like this. So then you've got this piece. I'm going to take this piece and this is the die that I'm going to use. This is called the Beautiful Butterfly die and it's for the big shot and I'm going to use this butterfly that's here. Hopefully you can see that. This video is not going to be as good as usual. My apologies. What I do is I take the piece and I'm going to just line it up to the edges of my butterfly so I know I'm going to cover it completely. I'm going to put this through my big shot. I'm going to have a clear plate. I'm going to have the big die. I'm going to have my paper and then another clear plate and I'm going to just run that through the big shot. So after you've done that, you're going to see that your butterfly is just going to come out. And that's the part that's wasted, although I'm sure you could punch out things and use it on other projects. So that's what our little butterfly looks like with the washi tape on it. I meant to show you earlier that on the back of these pieces, you can see where I've just folded over the excess tape. The next element we want to look at is this piece here. And this is from the Label Love stamp set. And it has a matching punch. This is the Artisan Punch, which is really great. So you can stamp and then punch it out. You don't have to cut it out. So I'll show you how to do that. The stamp I chose is an outline and then some words. And this is perfect if you want to color things two different colors. This works really well with our markers. So let me bring those in. I've got two markers here and you can see that there's two ends. There's a skinny nib end and then there's a larger brush end. And if you pick your marker up and you look at that big wide band, that tells you that that's the wide end. And then there's also a picture of the brush end. And then on this side, it's a really thin line and then a little nib. So you can see when you pick it up which side you want to open. So I'm going to start with the indigo marker and I'm going to color on the outside of this stamp. Okay, and then I want to come in with my second color, which is lighter, and color in this, the inside words. You may notice when I'm coloring, I'm not using the tip of my marker, I'm using the side, because I don't want the tip to get all um, damaged and can get kind of fuzzy if you, if you try and color right on the, the point. So just on the side, like so. so. Now I've got the two colors on there, I want to go ahead and just stamp it on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. And there we go. So that's how you get the two colors. Next I'll bring in my punch and you can see that if I turn it over and slide my piece in, I can line up the image with the punch and just go ahead and punch that out. Like so. The next thing I want to do is the little banner here. And it's really easy to do banners. You just, no matter how wide your little strip of paper is, if you just find the middle and then just cut up a little bit and then go from the edge to the point and from the edge to the point you get a perfectly cut little banner that matches on both sides. So now I think we can go ahead and put together our card. These are all our little pieces. So first thing I'm going to do is just add our DSP. This is the Gingham Garden DSP that matches that washi tape that we used on the butterfly. And then I've got a piece of Island Indigo. And I'm just going to place that in the center. And then 
We've got our little banner. It's going to place it down here. And then lastly, we've got our little label stamp that we stamped and punched out. The last thing I'm going to do is just add my butterfly. And the easiest way to do that is with a glue dot. The glue dot right in the center there, like so. And maybe one more. And stick them on, like so. And it looks kind of bare, so I went ahead and added a little bit of our indigo baker's twine to one of our beautiful little vintage faceted buttons. And again, I'm just going to attach that with the glue dot. So there's our finished card. I'll just bring in the first one that I did. I've added a few more things to this one. I did put a second layer of indigo below the DSP. You don't have to, but it kind of makes it pop a bit. And I did pop up the words on the original card, it's just so it gives it a bit of dimension. So that's the technique using washi tape and your Big Shot die to create this card. I hope you enjoyed it. Happy stamping! get about a place it'll take creation imagination try to draw outside the